Welcome, I'm David, I'm Lindsay, and, and this, this is Desmond's Donders. Hello and welcome to Bald Korak. Um, this is our spot for Maybank holiday weekend. We decided to come here because usually it's quite quiet. The forecast is not as promised. It's kind of bright, but there's a lot of dark clouds about. So I'm not sure how long this is going to last. I may end up having to turn tail and head back to Desmond. Balcorak is on the Glenlivet estate. Apparently we were here last May when we did the week's holiday going around the estate showing you the different areas you could actually tour without going very far. As I said, the weather is not as forecast. Hello crows. Um, there's patches of blue sky, but then you also see there's patches of darker sky. Whether they're going to blow through because of the wind or not, I don't know. But we'll see. Sorry if there's a lot of wind noise the camera's picking up. There are several walks to do for me at the car park. It's uh, six miles over the hills that way to Cromdale. Uh, no, I won't be doing that. There's too much possibility of me getting lost over those hills. The river is quite low, in fact it's lower than last year because last year I could walk under the bridge uh, to the other part of the river that joins up. There's hardly any water in that part and there's actually more stones shown. So I thought I'd come this way and walk along beside the river. Well, it's closest to the river as I can get. Um, I might go up the hill tomorrow, it depends what the weather's doing. If I go up the hill, I'll have to get my stick. So, if you can see, there's the river. David's already seen a trout jump out the water to catch the flies. There are a lot of flies about. Windy. It's keeping the midges down. When we came here last year. I'd noticed that somebody has moved into the old farmhouse where the old derelict water wheel was. I'm wondering how much more they've done on the house and the barn. It'll be good to see. Sorry, cattle grid. <laughs> mm. Hi 
Sorry, Martin. Damn it. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to see that. And if you see they are running up towards us, hopefully, is a hare. Are you stupid or what? Nah, it's gone the other way now. Okay, sorry. Can't get pictures of a mountain here that doesn't want its picture taken. I've given up. I think I've scared it enough. We'll try and see if we can get down beside the river. Swallows. And there is the river. And that's it. I don't normally see this many stones at this time of well, I would say this time of year, but I don't know. I don't know how much snow's on the hills left to come down. And I don't know where the fishermen actually fish from. Yeah. I'm just going to switch you off a sec because I need to take some photos. There's certainly a lot of flags about for the swallows to feed off. I think we'll start heading towards the part of the road rather than going through the long grass. around you rather than through you. Head for the post, Lindsay.
Eyes up for a view. What do you think? Worth the walk? Of course it is. And that way there's more stones than water. But I'll keep going for a bit. There's more blue sky. So We'll tempt feet and see how we get one. I'll zoom you back out again, sorry. of animal traps around here. I, think, I believe there is mink in the area, which obviously nobody wants. And they also say that they have to try and catch the stoats and the weasels because they eat the eggs and the pheasants and partridges of whatever they're trying to breed around here. fun gate. We'll see how far we get this time. There you go, gate shut and we're onward. Back in the trees. I'm going up the hill. I believe this is part of the even path, which I've never completed because the one time I intended doing it, the signs just disappeared. There you go, there's another animal trap. You can see it. Possibly not because the camera's not playing. They do have their reasons for using them. 
There we go. We did have a couple of cars parked. Uh, one guy went for a quick walk. I think he was checking the level of the water because obviously it's not very high at the moment. And as David said, they're not interested in the trout. They're only interested in catching salmon, which is daft because they have to put the salmon back. They catch the trout, they can dig it home and eat it. But There's not much fame in catching trout. And to be honest with you, I'd rather have a good decent trout than a salmon any day of the week. But who knows? We'll see how far we get before I decide it's time to go back. It's pleasant walking in the not so hot weather. And you see, all you can see on the hills is the gorse, bright yellow, and there's our gravestone. It's a very strange place to have a memorial to someone, but that's it. No idea, can't read the inscription anymore. Long gone. But I'm going to switch you off now because thank you for enough my here then. I'm not sure what goes up the path, but this is the West Avondale Pass, the one of it estate. I have no idea how long it goes on for. But this is us. And we're nowhere near the top. There are houses at the top of here because I've gone past them before. But thank you for coming with me and thank you for listening and continuing to support our wee channel. We really do appreciate it and all the lovely comments we get. It certainly 
makes a difference to us both when we know that we're actually doing something that people enjoy watching just for the peace the bird song and the actual joy of being outdoors and appreciating what we've got and being grateful for it so thanks again and maybe I'll do more today tomorrow maybe I won't it depends where I end up going but that's us I'll sign off for now thanks for watching and take care guys thank you for watching Desmond's Donuts and remember please Take nothing but memories and leave nothing but tracks. Please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and hopefully we'll see you next time.